She has been branded, as any of you know, complicit in her father's pro-America, pro-life, pro-gun, pro-Israel um, agenda. And the feminist left club of women will never, ever forgive her for that. And she needs to really accept that that's the case. Now, how many of you know who Mika Brzezinski is? Mika Brzezinski? Um, so she had this interview with Tina Brown, who's here in this photo. Um, Tina Brown is a self-appointed feminist leader. She is the founder of the Women in the World Summit. Now, they have this interview, and um, Tina Brown in this interview said that even though Ivanka had been doing so much to advance female entrepreneurship, not just in America, but she's in Latin America and in Africa, promoting just women's entrepreneurship globally as a means for advancing women and, and really um, third world economic development, that even though she was doing all this stuff for women, as well as putting her political weight and her, you know, sort of her ability to influence the president and other senators behind a national child care policy, something feminists have been doing for so long, um, that she could not, this is what Tina Brown said, that even though she'd done all those things, she could not be considered a credible feminist role model because her father's administration wants to cut off funding to Planned Parenthood. So that nullified everything that she was doing. By the way, um, as the president's daughter, she's also complicit in the successful appointments of Neil Gorsuch, um, of Brett Kavanaugh, who, as you know, are two Catholic judges who are known to have some pro-life views. Um, strangely, Ivanka Trump went on Twitter to tweet her support for equal pay for women, and she was totally slapped down on Twitter by all these feminist trolls um, for tweeting about equal pay for women from feminists. So why would feminists object to anyone, even the president's daughter, tweeting and promoting equal pay for women? Seems odd on the surface, but it's actually quite revealing. It proves what we conservative women have always known about the so-called feminist movement. That it is not really a movement for women, it's an abortion movement that masquerades as a women's movement. The feminist thought police have established the rules, and the rules are anyone who threatens abortion will be punished as a traitor to their gender. No matter how much good you actually do for women, their financial empowerment, their independence, you will be shamed, you will be exiled from this exclusive, liberal, mean girl, feminist club. Ivanka Trump is example number one, but you can go to the, to the, the, the march that I covered earlier on Fox. Um, there was a group of anti-Trump pro-life women who wanted to join the, and they were kicked out. Um, so it wasn't enough to be anti-Trump. The pro-life part was a deal breaker for them. Here's the good news for conservative women. We do not need their club. We are independent. We are free thinking. We are liberty minded women. What angry liberal feminists don't realize is that conservative women have been quietly shaping our own brand of feminism for years. One that gives women more freedom to chart their own course and to define happiness on their own terms. It is a feminism that respects the consequential role of men in our lives and the dignity of women and their children, including those that are still in the womb. Though ignored and put down by the media, we conservative women are a very powerful constituency.